All right, guys, this is part two of the Sunbird motor upgrade. Uh, where we left off, we were just getting ready to do some testing to see how this motor worked with this 40 amp BSC. We were thinking about just going ahead and using the 30 amp BC, but we're going to see we're going to see how this works. Just out of curiosity, this is a UBC, and that's also a UBEC. Um, two through six S lipo. This is five amp or five volts at three amps, and this is five volts at three amps. So really, this is commensurate on the BEC, and yet this is a 40 amp instead of 30 amp, so it's a little bit bigger on the the motor power. And I'm not real thrilled with the way that that looks. I'll probably take those those off as well. But for now, for testing, um, it'll work fine for testing. So, but in order to test this safely, gosh, it'd be nice to have it mounted. But again, do I want to mount something and then find out it doesn't work? Negative. So let's just wire this up and let's see how it works now. And then we'll come back to it. Let's get some forceps involved in this transaction here. So one thing too, I'm usually a little better about is when I'm working on these projects, if you can keep your work area somewhat tidy as you go, it really does help. But uh, sometimes as you know, you get into a hurry and next thing you know, it's a huge mess. Looks like the kids have been playing in your shop. Okay, so that's plugged in, but not all the way. So I can take this toothed side and force it to rest. Okay, great, so it's in. So now the next thing we got to do is turn on the radio system. Get this lanyard out of the way. I don't know if you guys use a lanyard, but I do. I don't know why I decided to start using a lanyard, but it is kind of a lifesaver at times. Oh, it looks like we already got it pulled up. Okay, so first things first. Want to make sure the motor is capable of spinning free, which it is. Okay. Um... Second thing, we'll use a battery. Now, keeping in mind, these batteries suck, and I know it. So, no big deal. Mostly what I want to do is I just want to make sure this thing isn't going to take off on me. Okay, so plugging this in. Okay, so it initiated. Throttle cut is on currently. Tested. Good. Throttle cut is off. Nothing happens. That's good. Throttle increasing, moving, up to speed, sounds perfectly reasonable to me. We can also check the direction of travel now. The direction of travel is that way. Okay, so it's going... Viewed from the front, it's going clockwise. What the heck? Why would it be going clockwise? That is so weird. See where the stick position is, guys? Okay, watch this. Throttle. 60, negative 60 compared to 96 before it even really kicks in. I think what we might want to do is just um, go into the programming mode on this thing. So we're going to unplug the power. We're going to put our throttle stick all the way up with throttle cut off so it's fully armed. We're going to let this initiate. Okay. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Dude. 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 So this is like a super easy programming mode. I like that. <clears throat> now it's going back again. So it's basically, there's modes. And so now what you can do is you can pull up your Google and you can type I'm just gonna search for this this is a Emacs um, ESC 
programming. So I'm going to search for ESC programming. Okay. And basically I'm going to look up how to program this thing. And so what happens is as long as your stick's up, you're giving, like, keep going, keep going. And then when you put the stick down, you're going to change the condition of that mode. So I'm going to look that up and I'll come back with the answers. Alright guys, I found this. It took about 30 seconds. Brake type, there are six brake types. Off, low, middle, low, middle, middle, high, and high. Okay, so that's the first beep, okay? The default's off. Timing mode, there's five options. Low, mid-low, middle, middle being the, the default. The default is middle. Advanced timing is recommended for high inductance and low KV motors. High advanced timing is recommended for low inductance and high KV motors. For some high KV motors, if it shakes while rotating in high speed, the high timing mode is recommended. Okay, start force, there is thir 13 options. Holy crap. I thought I was, I was reading it wrong. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, it looks like this one's been changed. <clears throat> okay, so basically what I'm concerned with is I want braking. So we're going to listen. Move the throttle stick to the bottom position within two seconds of the two beep sounds. With long beep sound should be emitted. The long beep sound means the bottom point of the throttle range has been detected. Several beep tones should be emitted to present the amount of battery cells. Okay, if the, if the throttle stick is neither at the bottom or top after it will consistently make beep sounds. Okay, good. So now we're just listening. Beep. One, two, now up. So now it's set to low, okay? Now it's two, default timing. Now we're at three, four start. Dang it, I went to four. I'm just gonna let it beep, 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 beep. Okay. Then the control frequency. I'm just going to leave it in the high position now. My stick, my stick over here is in the high position. Okay. So now it's started. Okay. So up we go. Down we go. So you'll see. See, it's stopping it. So now the other thing you can do is you can try to move it. You can feel a little bit of resistance. Now watch. Unplug it from power. And you'll feel a different level of resistance. Okay? So let's go back into setup. And let's change the braking to the next setting. Okay. Listening. Down. One, two, three, let's go to four. Two, three, four. That's one's been set now. Now we leave the stick in the high position. And then how do I exit? I guess I've never really actually figured that out. I did by accident. Okay, so gradually reduce power to 31% of current power, okay. That 
that's been set. I wanted to make sure. Okay, if you get your ESC stuck in a bi direction, okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's already rebooted. Okay, so it rebooted now. So you can tell it rebooted by listening to the sound at, at startup. Okay, so throttle cuts. There's full speed. Whoa, that brakes a lot harder now. You guys see what happens? Whoa. Man, that like jerks. Okay, so that's too much. So we want to go back into the programming mode. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug power. I'm going to put the throttle stick all the way up. Throttle cut is off. Lay down the motor so i got my hands free. Plug it in. Listen for little sounds at the beginning. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, now we're in setup. Okay, now we're going into that setting. There's one. I want low. Okay? Now I'm just going to return. Now let's listen for it to reboot. Now I'm not 100% sure. I didn't hear it reboot, I don't think. Okay. I don't know if it's stuck in the middle of a step or what, but let's reboot it. Okay. Throw Oh, shoot. It's not initiated yet. So we've got it unplugged. Waiting a second. Plug it back in. Throttle's down. Throttle cut is off. Uh-oh. Okay, so I think I might have screwed something up, which is always exciting. I'm going to do some reading real quick. I'll come right back and tell you how to fix it. All right, guys. I got this thing reset to factory defaults. Seems to be working good, but you can tell it's not braking. Feels about the same as when it's unplugged. This is how you restore. This is how you restore the settings. Just pause the screen and do that. Anyway, the the point is, <clears throat> I want to change just the braking. That's really all I care about. I can reverse my motor leads to change the direction of travel. That's not a big deal. Um, in fact, I'm gonna do that real quick. It doesn't matter which one. Which one's which? Um, but anyway, so I want it to go counterclockwise because that's a standard forward. Okay, so when you're looking at it from the front, it's going counterclockwise. So it's going this way. Okay, so now I'm going to turn braking on. So braking is the first beep. Okay, so throttle sticks up. Plug it in. Beep, beep. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Now we're in program mode. There's one. So we'll move the stick down. Now it's going to go through the options. There's one. I want two. Okay. Very good. So now I'm listening for beep, 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 beep to exit. There's four. Beep. Now it's going to go beep, beep, beep. Now one more and we'll exit. Okay, well, I guess that option doesn't exist. Okay, so it's, it just rebooted. Okay, so throttle cut is off. You can see it's trying to slow it down. Trying to slow it down, but it's not extremely aggressive. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it for now, guys. Um, we'll have part three, and we'll get the motor installed, and we'll get the prop and everything worked out. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.